Sky News All-Star Douglas Murray has been a vocal critic of Hamas since the terror group launched their assault on Israel on October 7th last year. The outspoken commentator has continued his tirade into the new year, publicly blasting individuals and organisations who he sees as supporting Hamas. Conservative commentator Douglas Murray has consistently slammed Hamas and supporters of Palestine since the war broke out on October 7, 2023. Mr Murray has made a point of highlighting the radical aspects of Hamas and how this terror organisation is different to anything we've ever experienced. Hamas targeted innocent civilians in Israel on October the 7th and it's a pretty unique terror organization Hamas because or an unusual one because yes it then wishes to use any innocent civilians in Gaza as collateral to their well, or indeed the main attack point for their war um, I mean no other uh, I mean, I can't think of an army that has behaved like this in history, um, which is one of the reasons why you know, Hamas is not an army, it's a terror group. It literally puts civilians in front of its own terrorists. It literally puts civilian buildings above its own terrorist infrastructure, its weapons storage units, its missile storage, and indeed its leaders. This is a sort of cowardly way in which Hamas acts. Douglas Murray has also engaged in many heated arguments with commentators who push a pro-Palestine agenda. Uh, first of all, I mean, your other guest, I mean, I don't know what kind of a creature he is. He's a kind of low-grade thug as far as I can see. He's listened to nothing I've said. Yeah, yeah, I know, uh, because he's I'm Muslim. Monster. That's what you call he does Muslim, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. No, it's racist. not that at all. It's not that at all. I just think that you're a very, I think you're just a very low-rent racist. But anyway, let me just get on to it. You say, you say, first of all, you say, I don't care about the death of Palestinian children. Yes, I do care. I care very deeply about it. But I also know that the responsibility for their deaths lies on Hamas, which has misgoverned their society for the last 16 years and now has been leading the country into being in a war with Israel. So, yes, it's on Hamas, this. Douglas Murray vehemently denies Palestinians are victims of genocide, slamming anyone who pushes this idea. Well, anyone who uses the term genocide in this context simply doesn't know what they're talking about, or is a malevolent actor. Uh, I don't know if Mr. Week has travelled at all in his life, how far he's travelled, how many conflicts he's seen, but I'd have guessed none. And you clearly know nothing about this particular conflict, and you've obviously seen none of it. He doubles down on his support for Israel, saying the IDF do everything in their power to avoid civilian casualties. My counterpart here goes on about uh, the deliberate genocide of children and, and women. I mean, I know you, and this is the sort of thing I, I think you do. You sort of claim that there are bombs being deliberately dropped on children and old women. Why would Israel want to drop bombs deliberately on children or old women? I mean, it, you just, again, it, it's just a shame you don't get out and see anything. Um, the Israelis do an incredibly careful campaign before bombings to try to make sure that civilians are warned to li leave areas that are about to be attacked. Everybody knows that. Everybody in the region knows that. It's a shame that that fact hasn't got to you. Douglas Murray also slammed the media for pushing a pro-Palestinian narrative and displaying a lack of empathy for Israel. Some of the spin on that is, is almost as if it shows the IDF is sort of so brutal that it even kills Hamas hostages who are Israeli. I, I just think this is another example of the international media and others just having this astounding lack of empathy for the Israeli people. Can you imagine what it was like for those soldiers who were in Gaza, knowing that at any point there are snipers, there are, there are uh, uh, booby traps everywhere, um, people coming out of tunnels that they've built at British and American American taxpayer expenses and attacking them. Can you imagine what it was like for the soldiers who, in that terrible moment, made the life-changing mistake of shooting three people who turned out to be Hamas hostages? Murray also targeted the UN women's charity, slamming their response to the violence inflicted by Hamas and saying all women should rip up their membership. It was Groucho Marx who said, I don't want to belong to a club that would have me as a member. Well, I'm not sure any woman should want to belong to a group that would have Munro Bergdorf as their champion. But there's another good reason all women should rip up their membership of this group, in my humble opinion. 
Take a look at their reaction to the revelations of sexual violence by Hamas in October. Is there a reason, though, Sarah, that you can't specifically call out Hamas? UN Women always supports impartial, independent investigations into any serious allegations of gender-based or sexual violence. And within the UN family, these investigations are led by the Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights. It took the group a full 57 days after the Hamas attack to make any official statement. And even then, that was to condemn gender-based atrocities, or mass rape, as the rest of us call it. It seems to me that this group really has a problem with language, and also with reality. So, Munro Bergdorf and the UN Women's Group probably deserve each other. Douglas Murray also slammed pro-Palestine protesters for ripping down the posters of Israeli hostages across the globe. If you put up a poster to a missing dog in any Western city, that poster stays up. In city after city in America, posters of abducted Jewish children, including a 10-month-old baby, were put up and were ripped down by people who have been indoctrinated into hate of Jews. Nobody would rip down the poster of a missing dog, but from Dublin to Berkeley, they ripped down posters of abducted Jewish children. So no, I don't think there was Douglas, very much care this to you. for that let around me put the this world. To you, Douglas. And when posed with the question of a solution to the war, Douglas Murray is not optimistic. The claim that he's making that there simply needs to be a greater trust on both sides, as it were, in order to push for a two-state solution, and that it's within Israel's grasp to hand the Palestinian peoples in the West Bank and Gaza a sort of reputable social democratic government structure that allows them to thrive economically and socially is a complete fantasy. Everybody can see it's a fantasy, mm. except it's certain people in the international arena who cling on to this very, very outdated model uh, for dear life. Um, there are very few people in Israel across the right or the left of politics who think that a two-state solution is remotely plausible at the moment. I don't think it's remotely plausible at the moment. I don't know if it ever will be, but it looks incredibly unlikely at the moment. Because